Hello chess lovers! This position is taken from a game played by French chess player Alexander de Chapelle and another strong French chess player Louis Charles de La Bourdonnais, who was probably the strongest player in the early 19th century. The game was played in 1836 in Paris. Unfortunately, the annotation of the whole game didn't survive and in books and chess bases this game appears starting from this position. Before showing you the solution, please pause the video and try to find the winning line for white. Actually, there is a mate in 5 moves. Ready? Well, as you can see, right now black is threatening to promote the pawn to a queen, and if you play something like bishop takes g3, then simply bishop g5 check, and then the rook can come, threatening f2, blocking the bishop's path, and then promoting the pawn to a queen, it's over. And if you play something like queen e5, then bishop f4, a powerful deflective move, and then the black queen appears on the board, and this is all she wrote. Let's go back, but instead of choosing that chicken line, in this position Alexander de Chapelle went for a mind-blowing combination. He first captured on h6 with a check, and after g takes h6, once this a1 h8 diagonal is opened up, he played queen h8 check, a powerful queen sacrifice, and after forcing black king to step on this dark square, he played king f7 with a very dangerous threat bishop f6 checkmate. Look at this, black has so many pieces on the board, but black's army is useless against this monster, this powerful elephant. Le Bourdonnais played rook f8 check in order to prolong his life, but now white is simply capturing on f8 again with the same bishop f6 checkmate. Black promoted the pawn to a queen and here comes this bishop f6 and finally we see a checkmate on the board. What a game! This is truly one of the strongest bishops chessboard has ever seen. Look at this beauty. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave your comments. Good luck.